It's time to pause. It's time to get away from the cold winter. It's time to take a long break from work and the normal routine of everyday living. It's time to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It's time to travel to the southern region of Portugal, where cliff-packed sandy beaches are surrounded with unique rock formations, where beautiful landscapes are dotted with whitewashed villages, where you can relax, refresh, unplug and explore, where fresh mouth-watering seafood dishes are aplenty, where the people are as warm as the weather, and where beautiful sunsets turn into amazing sunrises. This region of Portugal is called the Algarve. The Algarve is part of our 11-day Portugal itinerary. Please see the description below for details and click the link on the upper right corner of the screen for our Portugal travel vlog and see why we love this amazing country and why you will too. But in this video, we will show you the things we did, where we went, where we ate, and where we stayed in the Algarve. First, we will take you to the beautiful city of Lisbon, where we rented a van for our transportation to the Algarve. Click the link on the upper right corner of the screen for the things to do in Lisbon. Algarve, here we come! The drive to the Algarve is very pleasant and nice and scenic and the rest area is well equipped and well maintained. This is where if you want to charge your phones and laptops, you have a section for the kids. It's about a 3 hour drive from Lisbon to Lagos where we booked our hotel. Lagos is a good home base for exploring the Algarve. As far as the weather, the Algarve is the sunniest region in Europe. How does it feel driving here in Portugal? I love it. Because of the Atlantic influenced Mediterranean climate, the Algarve has mild wet winters and warm to very hot dry summers. The hottest month is in July with an average temperature of 74 degrees Fahrenheit and the coldest is January at 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The wettest month is December followed by January then November. But we came in November and we did not experience any rain at all. We were full of excitement and joy as we entered the hotel grounds. This is Hotel Club Porto de Moss. So what do you think guys? It's a beautiful fun. First impression. Nice luxurious hotel. Welcome to our villa which is overlooking the ocean. Wow, this is so nice. Oh it my is goodness. so beautiful. And we can cook over here. In the bathroom, there's a bidet. How many rooms? It's only one room, but that's, we have a sofa bed here. The best part of this is it's, our terrace here. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Outside. So that's the Atlantic Ocean over there. TV there, another view of the ocean, and another outdoor space. And this hotel exceeded our expectations. And the best part is that we only paid $92 per night. After checking in the hotel, we explored the stunning beaches and dramatic limestone cliffs and rock formations of Lagos. First, we drove to Punta de Piedade, which is only a five minute drive from our hotel. We're here in Punta de Piedade. From the parking lot of Punta de Piedade, we walked past the lighthouse towards the cliff, and we were awestruck by the finest natural features of this place. So, Algarve was under the radar of my travels here in Portugal in general. When I saw a picture of this online, I started researching about the Algarve or the Algarve region. It's just really breathtaking. And now that I'm here, it didn't disappoint me. Descending down the cliffs through a set of steps reveals the golden hue of the cliffs, the turquoise seawater and waves battering those sea stacks, and the hidden caves and grotto wherein some can only be accessed 
with a boat or kayak tours. From here we took a quick stop at Praia de Dona Ana, about 4 minutes by car or 20 minutes on foot. It is one of the finest beaches of the Algarve and is the largest of the Ponta de Piedad coastline. Another 4 minutes by car or 15 minutes on foot towards the historic center of Lagos is Praia dos Estudantes and next to it is Praia da Batata. Both beaches are just a short walk from the main tourist area of Lagos. So, uh, see that arch over there? Oh, we want to go to that where the arch is. Let's see if there's a way down there, like a tunnel. So that tunnel over there connects to Praia de Batata. For dinner, we went to Dom Sebastiao, located within the old historic center of Lagos. For our starter, we have the scrumptious giant sea scallops. And for our main dish, we have the most tasty mussels, grilled fish, tiger prawns, and the famous Algarvian dish, cataplana di marisco prepared with a variety of seafood. Okay. So we can't wait to dig in that cataplana. Okay. So it has shrimps, clams and fish. My daughter was asking why is it placed in a copper? It's the cataplana, it's the name of the pot. It's cataplana. Oh, the name of the pot yes. is cataplana. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I just learned sauce here that to take the home. cataplana soup has tomato and peri peri sauce. And another thing, uh, the soup is a little sweet because of the chorizo. So if you come here in Lagos, this, I highly recommend this place. Dom Sebastian. Food is good and the service is excellent. Oh wow. The wine from Doro? From the Doro Valley. Yeah, Doro Valley. Yes, yes. Okay. Good. So this is the port wine. It's usually served in a small amount because it has a higher alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Like 20% alcohol? 20%, yes. yes. Yes, okay. But this, this is sweet, right? It's a little sweet. Yeah. It's very good. I like it. Sweet. All, always sweet. Yeah. Sabor. Sabor. It's a 37 minute drive from our hotel to Benagil Beach, where we embark on a cave hopping through Taruga Benagil Cave Tour. Machine cave, why? And you will see how the name and because of the name, it is not very really friendly. Oh, okay. It's like a washing machine. Oh my goodness. Now we show you the lighthouse. On top of this cave is a lighthouse called Alfonsina. So this is the most famous cave, uh, Benagil Cave. You can access this by uh, kayak, or if you can swim. But if you ride a boat, you cannot get off the boat.
we're now here in Algar Seco. Algar Seco is a group of tunnels, passages and caves carved in the limestone cliffs of the Algarve coast in Carvoero. It has boardwalks along the scenic rocky coastline. The work of erosion, sea, wind and the sun in the limestone cliffs has made these rock formations impressive. But we are here for one thing, to check out a famous Instagram spot, the Abunica Cave. To get down to Aboneca, that opening, you have to go down where the bar is and go past the bar and you will see a word carved on the limestone, Aboneca. So we're just gonna stroll around Carboero or probably walk towards Carboero to the, to the beach. This is the main town of Carbuero, formerly a fishing village and is now a picturesque resort town. The beach is flanked on either side by the sandstone sea cliffs, characteristic of southern Portugal. So now we're gonna go and find a restaurant for a late lunch. From Praia de Carbuero, it's about a five minute drive to Praia do Vale de Santianes where O-Stop Restaurant and Bar is located. Is this a sufficient lunch spot for your birthday lunch? Of course! <laughs> With a view! We have grilled sardines, clams and shrimps, grilled octopus and seafood pasta. Everything was good, except the octopus was too soft for me. So we are having a feast right now, seafood feast. So we asked a Portuguese earlier, what is the best beer here in the Algarve? He said, Sagres. I like uh, Sagres beer. We thank God for all this bounty, uh, Happy the food, birthday. and I thank God for my existence. Happy birthday, Dad! Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you! Then we stayed until sunset. So the church of Sao Sebastian is within the old town, so within the old city wall. Uh, it's hard to find a parking here, the roads are narrow. So we went, we drove outside of the old city wall and we parked by the river at Avenida, I think. Los Descobrimentos, I think it's how it's called. And there's a lot of parking spot there. I see the church. So the Mass was in Portuguese, but I downloaded the English daily reading for the Sunday Mass. And uh, it was really cool because the reading for this Mass here in Lagos is the same as the reading in the Philippines, in Africa, in the rest of Europe and the rest of the world, basing on the lectionary. And there was also a baptism, so it was really a joyous occasion. So we're walking down where we park our car close to the promenade and it's really nice out there. Then we head to the beautiful village of Peragudo, which is about 33 minutes from Lagos. So we're now here in Ferragudo, it's a fishing village and we just park on the side street. It's Sunday so I didn't see any parking meter and uh, 
we're gonna go to the church first there's a sign from there we will look for that street that beautiful street and instagrammable spot this is a, a hilly village so the stairs <laughs> look at those stairs up there to get to the top it's a good workout look at that lemon tree and it's just really cute here the cobblestones the architecture the different colors and look at the stairs or the steps so we've reached the top of the hill and on the right side is the church Igreja de Fergudo and on the left side there's a street I'm in Roa Juan de Mayo but on the corner there you turn left and you'll be wowing all the way So this is the church of Ferragudo or Igreja do Ferragudo. This is a Meraduro, a viewing point. So that's Portimao on the other side. It's a town or city, but it has lots of high-rise buildings. But uh, the side Ferragudo has preserved its fishing village building architecture. And there's that castle over there. Uh, I think it's close. I'm not sure, but comment down below uh, about that castle if it's converted into a hotel or not. So Ferragudo is a fishing village, as you can see all this uh, fishing nets and uh, everything used for fishing. <laughs> for lunch, we went to their lively village square with several restaurants and coffee shops. Okay, that looks great. so freaking good. What do you have? I have piri piri chicken. So I have the chicken tikka masala. So I've been good. eating a lot of Portuguese food already, so I like this Indian uh, cuisine. Thank what you. you Spare ribs. This is piri piri sauce, comparable to Tabasco or Texas pit in the U.S. Is it really? But I th yes, I think so. But it's more more oil based. And I have super bak beer. This is a Portuguese beer together with sagres. It's a Portuguese beer too. Cheers. We have tiramisu, cheesecake, and a fruit cake. Fruit cake. This is the best spot to watch the sunset here in Ferragudo and look at that light reflecting on the buildings, that golden hue. So beautiful. This is so nice. I love walking in this boardwalk. There's so much to see, right? Lagos has Aldi. So we're here in Aldi and it's actually cheaper compared to other groceries. So I'm gonna taste some of the pastries here. This octopus tentacles is so cheap. It's only five euros and 49 cents. And we paid like smaller than this at the restaurant for 22 euros wow. by the beach. Clams is only 2 euros and 49 cents. Per kilograms maybe. Shrimps is 12 euros and 99 cents per kilogram. Amon Iberico. Oh my Iberica is 3 euros and 99 cents. And this is so yummy. It's uh, bacalao. It's for 6 euros and 39 cents. Line loves to cook, so yes, she's so happy I'm here. Happy here. <laughs> it's cheaper here. And it has more choices. stuff. Yeah, and choices than in the US. I guess I'm just gonna move here in the Algarve. <laughs> it's funny we're ending here at Aldi. So that's it for now. Please like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you will know when the next video will be released. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.